Welcome to the Journey Podcast slash YouTube series slash series in general. So this podcast is about a self-journey, self-fulfilling prophecy. It's about you believing in yourself and taking yourself to the next level in everything that you do. Self-help. I want you to be better financially. I want you to be better with your health. I want you to be better with your relationships. I want you to be better. Every day, I want you to strive to become that 1% better. So today is episode 12, and this is just called Do Your Best. So as you guys know, we've been talking about me and reading new books and stuff like that. And I think two, last two, three episodes, we started talking about the first agreement. So I'm almost finished the book. Uh, I did the audio. I read the the hardcover like I'm talking about four or five years ago. So I really didn't remember as much as I should have. So I decided to go through the audio. And in it, I learned a lot of gems. You know, once you read a book, they always say go back to it later on because you're going to find new gems that you missed the first time. That's exactly what happened. I forgot all the agreements, but now I'm studying it and I'm actually taking my time. Most times when we read, we rush through it, especially me, because I have so many books that I want to read. And I'm like, hey, if I just get one piece of information, okay, cool. And I rush through. And a lot of times I forget the gems throughout it. So lately I've been going through and taking my time. So when I was going through the audio, a little, not not just a few times. A lot of times, I went back to the chapter and just re-listen, just re-listen, and make sure I'm catching almost all the information. Now, I know, granted, I'm not catching everything because it's just a lot of information, especially when you hear those little key topics. Like, oh, that's good. Let me go around, and you're driving. So, and studies show that people think, especially humans, we think we can multitask way better than we can. So, I know I'm missing things, but I want to share what I do remember from the audio with you guys and hopefully you, after hearing this video or watching it you you at least have some interest in reading the book for yourself because it's really good just give me one second my throat was so dry all right so we're going to go through all the agreements and we're going to talk about what makes the fourth agreement so special and some of the key points that i got while i was listening to the audio so the first agreement is your words have power. And if you didn't hear it, I broke it down in the first, not the first, but in the last two or three, um, two or three episodes. So I'm not going to go all the way into it. But if you know you have your words have power, utilize it wisely, right? Second thing, you ha have the ability to choose whether you listen to what people are saying, you, just because someone says something bad to you, you don't have to accept it. Just ignore it, right? Three, do not assume. Do not assume people understand what you're saying and don't assume you understand what people are telling you, right? Now, the fourth agreement, do your best. And when I first heard it, I was like, do your best. Like, what is this, Nike? Like, just do it? Like, it, was, it didn't make sense. And then the author starts breaking it down more. And he says, in your regular day, every day of your life, like once you agree to do these four agreements, it's not always going to be an easy day. Like some days you're going to say some things with your, your mouth, like you're, it's, it's going to go against the first agreement of using your words to help people or whatever. And just because it happens does not mean that you don't, you quit, oh, I'm done, blah, 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 blah. No, do your best. So even if you mess up, still do your best. Does it make sense? When you're sick or your body's tired, still do your best in that moment. However your state is, do the best that you can do. And that is your best. Does that make sense? Because it took me a while to really understand it. Because I was like, hmm, wait, what? Because at throughout the day, throughout life, your optimal your your image and how you feel like your energy is uh, the best you, the version of you that you always want to present might not always be the version of you that is in front of you right now. But that version in front of you, even though it's not the ideal version, the best version of you, be the best that you can be in the version that's currently here. And it was like, whoosh. my mind was just like blown because that's one of the hardest things to do. And then the author says, he says, if you can just do the first agreement, the other three are nothing. Like the first agreement is the most important one, just utilizing your words have power and utilizing that for the benefit of you, or other people, whatever. But I think the hardest one might actually be the fourth agreement, just due to the fact that we don't 
always give everything our best. Think about it. Think about how many times in a day you go to work and you don't want to be there at all. Do you honestly give it your best go? Do you give your 100% at that time? Even when you're not feeling good, do you give it your 100%? So imagine how much further you could be in your life if you did everything with the best your, your, the best capability possible that all your energy, all your, your umph, that you put everything into one thing. Do you imagine, can you imagine how much further you would be? Because I couldn't. And in it, I'm like, wow, Malcolm, how much, how many times throughout the day do you not give it your all? Like, it just really makes you ponder. And it also makes you say, how am I going to be able to keep this up? <laughs> like, how are you how is how is it possible to keep giving your best with everything? And I guess that's what I'm on this journey for. Um You said something? So one thing I'm doing definitely to try to keep my energy levels and my spirit higher is CMOS. And I'm also trying that um, Steve Harvey. So I'm doing things with my health. Steve Harvey came up with some like green pounded thing. And I'm doing things with my health to try to keep my energy levels higher so I can be so I can constantly be in the state of giving my best and doing my best. Even when I'm not feeling hundred percent, you still give your best during that percentage. Does that make sense? It's kind of confusing. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys more, but if you listen to the fourth agreement, listen to it. If you read the book, The Four Agreements, listen to The Last Agreement, and it, the author explains it way better than I did. I'm doing you a great disservice, but the idea is to do your best even when you're not feeling all the way there. Still give everything you can. So even though I'm tired, I'm still doing the best podcast that I can do during that time, and that's what you guys should do with your life. It doesn't matter what's going on. Always give it your best. And that's all you can ask for because as long as you're doing your best, then what, however it turns out, it's fine because you know deep down you did everything possible to make it work. Now, that being said, I don't know exactly how many people are doing that because I was one of the people who thought I was doing my best and giving it all. And after looking at it, I was like, maybe I could do a little bit more. So it also makes you look at yourself and do a little self-realization and thinking about how much more can I give? And that's also a little scary because it means you have more energy that you just have on reserve. So it started making me think of the, um, there was a study done, I believe, yeah, it was a study. It was some scientists that when they would have a tick, and the tick has like a 36 um, inch jump or whatever. And they put it, the tick, a um, couple ticks in a, a, a jar and they put a lid over it. So these ticks that have 36 jumps are way higher out the jar. Once they put the lid on it, the tick started going like this and stopped jumping as high. So after a while I had babies and they removed it. And now there's no lid on the jar. So these ticks could just jump out. But they didn't. They stayed in. They would go right where the edge would be and stop. Now, naturally, they already have a jump that's much higher. But because that lid was there and they seen that their parents and their parents' parents, because, you know, it was a couple of years. I don't know how often they mate, but it was a while. They automatically assumed that, hey, I can't go any further. So how often do we put our own beliefs and our own mind, how often do we like limit our own mind and say, this is my best, or I'm so tired, I can't go any further, but it's just our mind playing tricks on us because we've never pushed to that next level. So it was like, push. think about that. How many times are you telling yourself that you can't do something without even trying, or you actually believing you can't do something because someone else said you can't, or you, just because you haven't seen it. Another example, um, the first person to run a four-minute a four mile, I can't remember the person's name, but before him, 
it was like it, they had studies saying that it was scientifically unpos- it was impossible. The human body can't take the velocity and speed of going that fast. And then someone did it. I think he did three minutes, 59 seconds, and like zero four, something like that. But it was under four minutes, and the crowd goes crazy. And they're like, oh, my God, that might have been a new record. And then when they finally announced it, and it was, it took 46 days or 42 days for someone else to beat it. So for years, no one beat it. And as soon as one per, as soon as they saw that it was possible and unlocked something in people's brain that said, oh, I can do it too. In 46 days, someone else did it. So we have self-limiting beliefs that we put on ourselves on that we can't be successful. We can't achieve this. So you're not doing your best on a lot of things because you don't believe it yourself. So this channel is to show you how you can unhinge those beliefs. And just by following these four agreements alone is going to change your life because it's possible. Everything that you want to do is possible. I'm here to tell you, you can do it. Just stop with the limiting beliefs and do your best. It sounds simple, but yet it's so hard. And we create this cycle that stops us from achieving the things that we really want because we don't believe we can do it. So long story short is you're not doing your best because you don't believe it. So stop it and believe in yourself. Put the passion, put the energy and do what you want to do because there's nothing stopping you but you. All right. That was long-winded, but I hope I made myself clear. I appreciate you guys. If no one's told you, you are amazing. You are amazing. This is the journey, the podcast, the series, the YouTube version, YouTube version, YouTube series, and it's only going to get better from here. So you can do it because I'm here for you. I will keep cheering you guys on. I'll be your biggest fan, your biggest cheerleader. Let's go. But together we are going to create something magical. Still don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's going to be magical one, one of these days, right? Over and out. Appreciate you guys. See you tomorrow.